Hey guys, welcome back to Diverse Video Game Blog, the YouTube channel, and yes, I am back for summer. I have taken a break for a while, but I am back for summer, and what a time to be back because we E3 just ended, and at first there were some boring shows, I have to admit, but when it came down to it, Sony absolutely astounded everybody who showed up. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. I think they did the best that they could. There are even rumors that Red Dead Redemption was supposed to be shown at their show, but since circumstances in Orlando and all that, they didn't end up showing the trailer because it had some touchy stuff in it. But let's get to the subject of this video, and the subject of this video is Project Scorpio on the Microsoft side. And I'm going to talk about why I think it's going to flop. Because yes, I do think it's going to flop. Microsoft, first, well, there's two reasons Microsoft, Microsoft screwed themselves. One, all their exclusives are going to PC. And two, they announced the Xbox Slim, then they announced Scorpio. Who the hell is going to buy a Slim now? Wait a minute, back to the subject. Scorpio is going to flop because, one, the pricing. We don't know the price of the Scorpio. But it could pro it's probably going to end up around $800. Like, seriously. A 6 teraflops GPU. A 320 gigabyte memory stick. Or, I mean, sticks per second. That's how much memory the stick can run. And, a, obviously, an upgraded CPU. And they want to run a 4K. But why would you spend 800 plus... On an Xbox, one you could buy a PC. Like the only thing you really need now is a PlayStation and a PC if you want one, or vice versa. Because all the Xbox exclusives are going to PC. Oh, it's Windows 10. It's PC. Everyone has Windows. Windows is practically free, so I mean, it really, it's not hard to get, and Microsoft doesn't really make as much profit as you would think, but Windows is an open platform. PC is an open platform. PC, you can do a lot more. You have the benefits of buying a PC. More, there more benefits, Rondo my bad, than to buy a PC and an Xbox. So, why would you spend possibly even a thousand dollars on an Xbox when you could get a PC for the same price? Maybe even, maybe a little bit more, maybe less, depending on what you want, and you have more benefits. Cheaper games, open platform, mods, and you could do a lot more on a PC than you could do on a platform, um, on a console. Like, I have no reason to go out and buy an Xbox, because if I want to play Gears, I could use my computer. But you might need a high-end one, but you're going to buy a PC instead, because there's more exclusives on a PC as well. That just... And everyone, all the Xbox fanboys like Tim Dog, Crap Gamer, like, er, the power is amazing. Well, if you have a PC, which most people do nowadays, who is going to buy an Xbox? Like I said, Microsoft shot him in the foot when they announced the Slim, because no one's going to buy that. Well, he's an undecided and with play, center, he and yes, power does matter, and the media bias, there is no media bias, but I'm just pretending there is, says power matters, and they're changing their decisions. Oh well, yeah, it's true now, because of the way Xbox set it up. Xbox set it up awfully. Their games are going on a PC, they're using the most powerful console. Why? You can do that on PCs now. You don't even have to wait until 2017. You can get a PC just as good as the Xbox is stating. You can get the GX 1080 or whatever. I I'm not PC spectacle. I don't know the specs. You can get a better CPU than the Scorpio is going to have. Because the CPU isn't the best in the Scorpio. If you look at the release specs. 
And you can get just a good memory. You could get a two terabyte hard drive, maybe even more now. You can probably even get an SSD, a one terabyte SSD. Which I would totally get because SSDs are way better than HDDs. Or, I mean, so Xbox really shot themselves in the foot. Now, I'm not saying that uh, PS4 is the best, they have no mistakes. Some of you might think I'm a fanboy because I'm saying this. Lots of people right now are astonished by what Sony put on. That... This is another. This is for another video. But the games they showed were amazing. They just had game after game after game, first party game after first party game after first party game. After first party game. Maybe a couple third party games here and there. And that's not even all the first party games that are announced, like AAA. They have near. They have Gran Turismo, which I'm surprised they didn't show there. Uh. More VR games, which VR looks amazing, but I'm not going to buy it because I'm not into that, but some of you are. It's amazing. And Scorpio, and we don't even know what PlayStation is going to release. Like, if PlayStation releases a console that is half as good, that's in, that's in between the Scorpio and the current day consoles, the power's in between there, maybe more towards the Scorpio. That you can get for 400, 500 bucks. They are going to dominate the next generation, or maybe some people are still calling it the same generation because it could still be an Xbox One Scorpio that is yet to be completely like verified, even though they said no one gets left behind. So they kind of implied that it still technically is the same generation, but the internet will figure that out. Eventually, but they will do better this generation than they did. I mean, next generation than they did this generation with sales, because people are like, well, it's almost just as powerful. It's an even out platform because what I'm talking about is it's probably not going to be 4K 60 at all. Maybe it'll be 100, 1080, 60, sometimes 144, 1144p or whatever, what that is, I have no idea. Maybe they'll, maybe it'll be running at that. But, I, it's not going to be running 4K 60. Because that graphics card, maybe, it can run 4K smoothly. It, the PC one's around 4K, about four, I mean six teraflops right now, which is what Scorpio said their GPU will have six teraflops. Still struggles to run 4K at decently high settings with good fidelity. And if it does run 4K, even at 30 frames per second, especially at 60 frames per second. It's going to sacrifice the fidelity of the graphics. It's going to look. It does fidelity comes first, because if the fidelity is just as good as it is now, what's the point of 4K? Especially if the CPU is not going to be that high end of a CPU, that will really make it impossible to be 4K 60. Maybe not even possible for it to be one. 1,144p or whatever that is, or 1,444p, whatever that the next resolution step up is. It might be even possible for that to be at 60 frames. With high graphic fidelity. Now, yeah, maybe they will be able to run 4K, 60 frames per second, but with very low fidelity of indie games. And, and that resolution step down from 4K, that resolution, whatever again it is again, maybe that won't even be able to run at, six, at, thir at 30 frames without having to bring down graphic fidelity. The way the fidelity is going to take an advancement is if it stays what it is now. 1080p, 60 frames, or yeah, since uh, it's a step up, the fidelity will still be higher with the uh, 1444p, 30 frames. If it's 30 frames, yeah, the graphic fidelity will still go up. The graphic fidelity will really go up 
if they keep it at 1080p, 60 frames, and if it's 1080p, 30 frames, then that fidelity will go booming high. But the way that Xbox made the sound, it's not. That's another reason I think it's gonna flop because it's gonna mislead consumers, and they're gonna be like, "Well, this isn't really a balanced console." And, you can see he just, and it's not he really as good as a high-end PC can be, judge, but so but since I, the, and I could get a high-end PC now. for only a couple hundred more bucks, cheaper games which will eventually make up for the price of the console. I don't have to pay for online. I'm getting all the same exclusives. I have more benefits. Why do I even have an Xbox Scorpio? Microsoft has got to talk about organize themselves and, and or else it's going to be another Xbox One announcement all over again. Xbox Play Everywhere is really hurting the industry, the Xbox industry. The PlayStation industry is not only getting better, but when one industry is getting better and the other is getting worse, we're in for, it's going to be rough for Microsoft to really bounce back as soon as they did, I mean, technically you said they bounced back now. It was hard for them, but they bounced back. And, this has and I was a display of on another comment section in uh, a video. I forget whose channel it was. It was about, it was like Scorpio or something. They're saying if VR fails, then PlayStation will fail with Sony. And Sony's going to go bankrupt. And I was like, well, Sony has other industries. Two, Microsoft has the Windows industry, the phone industry, with Sony and Microsoft's phone industry is both bad, are both bad. Uh, it's on the so way. I mean, like, they both have their own it's industries, the but if you compare the two industries, it's pretty even. Maybe Microsoft's network is a little bit more, but think about it. Microsoft's biggest industry is Windows. Sony's biggest industry is... It's probably, you could say PlayStation, but the brand itself, the brand itself, yeah, maybe, but I'd say it's the movie entertainment. It's interactive entertainment. They could, I think they combined the computer entertainment and the interactive entertainment recently, but the movie industry, they have Blu-ray, they invented blu-ray they helped invent the blu-ray every xbox that's sold sony gets money blu-rays are in their playstations they're flying like hotcakes off the shelves compared to dvd players now that new hdr blu-ray and that xbox for only 300 bucks is a deal but there's no reason to get it because the Scorpio and Microsoft's gonna lose profit like crazy because it's an HDR Blu-ray player, which is probably around 400 bucks itself, plus the CPU, plus the GPU. That's like a 600 buck console, and they're spending it for 300. Now that's what I hear. I didn't believe the news, but I'm gonna say that's what I heard. Might not be true, but that's what everyone else is saying on the internet. But it's Sony can back themselves up if VR does fail. Same with Microsoft, they can easily back themselves up as well. But I'm just saying that Sony can afford to take a hit with VR. And I know that last discussion was off topic, but the, the Scorpio kind of let us into this discussion to give a more broader sense of what's really going on. My opinion, I think next generation won't even be close. Uh, I think Sony will rack out another generation win because of Xbox's, the moves of Xbox, bringing everything to PC. I don't think, and I think Windows gaming is gonna flop because Steam is just so much better. I mean, people still might buy Xboxes to play them games on it, to play the games on it. But most people are going to buy a PC. And some people are really going to be feel left out. And they're going to not, and they're like, oh, I can't afford this, or I'm not going to spend that much on a console. 
I'm going to get the inferior version, which, to be honest, if this happens on the PlayStation side, I'll upgrade eventually, but I'm just going to stick with the normal PlayStation. Alright, well that ends it, Diverse VG Ball.